Let's see how we can install Luke's FSR3 mod into Hogwarts Legacy without UI glitching. So, like and subscribe to the channel, let's dive in. First, you need to download this file from the Discord link in the description. If you have a desktop shortcut, right-click and select Open File Location. If you don't have one, go to your game installation directory and follow this path. After that, open the downloaded zip file. Run the registry file and extract everything else here. Open the .toml file and set these three values to true. Then, open your game. If the game crashes or doesn't launch, run the game as an administrator and make sure to close any recording software or FPS overlays too. For normal gameplay, I use Intel XS and recommended graphics. Later in the video, I will test ray tracing with the FSR3 mod as well. I'm getting decent FPS, but you will see I have occasional freezes in the game even with the FSR3 mod enabled. That's because I have a weaker CPU. If you have a good CPU, expect smoother gameplay. Let's turn on FSR3 and frame generation. Set the upscale type to DLSS. If your game is not running well, try changing the upscale mode. Choose a lower one if you have a low-end PC and turn on frame generation. So I'm getting 120 to 130 FPS and no UI glitching. When you first launch the game with the mod, give the game some time to load things properly. When I fight, you can see my CPU usage go high, and I get the previously mentioned freezes. Now, let's try ray tracing. I'm going to try medium to ultra ray tracing settings. Even though I got 70 to 80 FPS, I can't feel it. But 70 to 80 FPS with ray tracing is pretty good for a 5-year-old GPU. So that's it. If you learned anything from this video, like and subscribe to the channel. Have a nice day.